Today I'm going to be testing out two Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom primers that are both pretty liquidy. They're the same thing. They're not the same thing. They say they're not the same thing. We're going to test to see if they are the same thing. Because I've never done this, but I have both of them, and I'd like to do it. I'm a waitress. I work in a very hot, greasy environment. And when I'm working, I have to have primer. I don't have to have primer when I'm not working, but my makeup kind of doesn't last great at work. So we have the No Problem Priming Water with Rosa Demencia Flower Water and Oil. And then the No Problem Prime Essence with Cadula Affinis Flower Extract. I'm saying both of those things very wrong, I'm sure. But this is what they look like. On this side, I'm going to use this. And on this side, I'm going to use this. And I'm going to do check-ins throughout the day to see if one lasts better than the other. And because I only put makeup in the center, basically the center of my face, I don't really need a lot. So that was the No Problem Priming Water. I'm just going to make sure it's nice and in there. And then I'm going to be using the No Problem Prime Essence with a different finger on the other side. Okay, so the Priming Essence, mm, I don't know, maybe it's a little thicker. I mean, thick is a strong word here. It's very liquidy and watery. Okay, so I'm going to do my makeup the same way, like my face makeup. The same way I always do my face makeup with the same powder and the same concealer and everything. So it's it's a fair test because if you start testing too many things at once, it's not going to work out for you. All right. So I will be back after I put the makeup on to tell you how it feels. Um, right now, they, they pretty much feel the same. I mean, and they look pretty much the same. They both kind of give you a glow. They both feel the same on the skin. So I've got my sunbeam on. I always put that on because I feel like it helps my skin. Also, it really kind of helps hide the bags under my eyes that I get from being a mother. We're going to see... I've used both of these before. I know how it works with my stuff, but I figure I should probably record myself doing it since it's a test on these two primers. I'm going to put a little bit on my chin, not a lot on my chin. I don't put it everywhere because, well, honestly, I just don't feel like I need it everywhere. crazy okay everyone else on YouTube can like go pop, 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 and everything's blended I don't have that either skill or editing software I don't know which one it is it's probably skill I'm not talking shit I'm just saying okay pop, 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 pop. I always like to take whatever's left on my sponge and kind of go up the bridge of my nose because I contour my nose with the light instead of using dark because I have freckles and it always ends up looking like crooked. No matter what I do, it looks crooked. I've had other people who are really amazing at makeup do my makeup. It still looks crooked. We have to fix it. It never looks the way I want it to look. And it's probably because I don't wear super high coverage makeup everywhere on my face. So, you know, it's fine. I'm gonna take this powder, which is the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder. It is my favorite powder of all time. Okay, we're gonna stretch the eyes down help. 
I don't like to use a ton of powder either mainly because it will get crunchy on me if I do okay so I only used for the primer in the center of my face because the outside of my face one I have like I have a little bit of a natural shadow there so it's not like a something that I really need to keep on because there's always like a natural shadow but also because I just don't want to have it everywhere I want to have it in a controlled setting where I can kind of keep an eye on it all right I'll be back when I'm finished okay so here it is I think it looks pretty good this is the final look I will be back to check in on my break at work it has been a crazy day at work today, but this is how the makeup is holding up. Never really holds up great around my nose because I blow my nose a lot. But, I mean, it's not crunchy. It looks fine. Both sides look equally the same, I feel. So, I will be back later to do a final check-in. This is the final check-in of the day. I will say that they look basically the same. I, I do think that the Prime Essence lasted just like the itiest bittiest little bit better. Little less crazy on this side than this side, but honestly like nothing major. Like I, I am legitimately staring to see, but it held up, both sides held up pretty well through my work. Um, I didn't look crunchy or anything, so uh, yeah, they're they're pretty much the same, but the Prime Essence I think actually did hold up just a tiny bit better. So, in my opinion, if you're deciding between the two, I would go with this one. I don't know what skin type these are supposed to be for. If I think it says all skin types on both. But this one actually held up just like the idiot's videos bit better. So I think either one would be fine to buy. This one would be the one that I would buy again. But I'm going to test it out a little more, you know, like when I'm not working, just to see if, like, just to make sure. And I'll update you in another video or something. But thus far, the priming essence the prime essence was the winner so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys again next time uh, i have to say please like comment and subscribe comment down below if you have an idea for a video that you think i could do or something you want to see all right thanks